must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Welcome back. So, uh, wow, that mountain looks really cool up there. In the last episode, let's recap real quick. We, we basically were exploring over there and then we decided to fly all the way over here to this little, I guess it's a, like a peninsula. And uh, we found a Lionel just chilling over here. We killed him, took his stuff. <laughs> now this is our peninsula. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we left off. I want to explore this area a little bit because it looks so interesting. And I don't ever think I've explored in this area before. Actually, let's summon Wolf Link real quick. And uh, I'm actually going to summon just one or two amiibos. I feel like I'm, I'm just going to do a couple amiibos every time I play. Now that I have the... Uh, Champion's Daruk mask or the Varudanya mask, which we got in the last episode after five tries right there Looks looks pretty crazy um, Now that we have that What I did was I took out all of my amiibos from the rotation that don't really give me anything Exclusive so I have a little stack of amiibos that I'm going to use a couple every day and they have a chance to give me an exclusive item that I don't already have, basically, so... Alright, Royal Broadsword. That's actually a really good weapon, but... I already have a lot of really good weapons, so... Yeah, we'll just leave that one. Uh, let's summon just a couple more. I'm just gonna do just a couple. This one is, uh... I think it's a Twilight Princess Link. So I might... I, I think I need the leggings of Twilight. I don't... I think so. Yeah, I think I have the tunic and the cap already. Oh, wow. Another night shield. I don't need that. It's a really good shield, but I just have so many good items. Alright. This one has a chance to give me... Uh, horse armor. So, like, special horse armor that I don't... Wait a minute. I have never seen an amiibo drop two chests at once. Did that just drop two chests, or, or did the night shield one get pushed down? Oh, look at that, guys. I got it. The Traveler's Bridle. The design doesn't really stand out, which is why it's well suited to any type of horse. A favorite among peddlers and travelers alike. Cool. And is this the Traveler's Saddle? It is! Wow! We are so lucky. So now we can give uh, Cookie a little bit different of a look, or we can leave Cookie looking really majestic like he does, and we can go get a different horse. And put the Traveler's Bridle and stuff on the new horse. You know, I think you can have like four or five horses in this game. So it's not like you're replacing the horse. It's just you can take different horses out for whenever, whatever mood you're in, you know. Okay, that was a bit overkill. I, I, I see that. Alright. I actually really need to be uh, conservative on the arrows. Because I don't have a lot of arrows anymore. I really need to go buy some more. I think what I want to do when we're done exploring this area is I do want to go... Oh. Wow, that's it. I want to go to Zora's Domain and get the Zora armor. We're not going to do the Divine Beast, but I do want to at least start the quest because the Zora armor is really useful. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Also, we can buy arrows while we're there, I guess. Oh. You guys ready for a little, uh, little battle? Shall we? We got a big boy here. Alright, Wolf Link. No, you stay. This is a job for a stealth mission. Do not engage. I repeat. Do not engage. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what do you got? Royal broadsword, royal bow. What is this? This is all junk. Absolute junk. I have so many good weapons. For Princess Zelda! Okay, he, he's literally... Can I burn that thing off of him? How am I supposed to kill him? Wow, I really can't. Okay, buddy. It is a little bit harder when you can't uh, hit him in the legs. I think you're so clever covering your eye. <laughs> we actually do need to kill those every time because they drop like Hinux tails or not tails, uh, like toenails and little guts and whatever. All right, Wolflink, you can come now. Where'd you go, Wolflink? I see Cookie. Oh, he does come when I whistle. Cool. Uh, yeah, we need those those item parts to upgrade weapons and stuff. Or, I mean, upgrade armor. It would be cool if you can upgrade weapons. Nintendo didn't really uh, think upgrading weapons would be a good thing, I guess. I don't know. I'm just kind of exploring right now, seeing what we'll find. I've never really explored in this region before, so... I just wanted to walk through here. I mean, there's a road here. It must lead somewhere, right? Yeah. Where the road leads, I have no clue. Wow, that was... That was close. Luckily, Cookie has the reflexes of a fox. Ooh. I remember this place. This is actually a, uh... This is actually a puzzle for a shrine. I remember this, kind of, vaguely. Let's talk to Cass. Hey Cass, what's up? Oh, I was sure that I would be alone in so remote a place. Pardon me for not greeting you sooner. You greeted me instantly, but okay. Oh. Oh, oh, it's you! Although I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see you here. Absolutely. I know a song about this place. Of course you do. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Alright, let's hear it. I'm going to take a sip of tea while you talk. He breaks the rocks that serve to bind Above the temp something bay On wings of cloth and wooden twine He lands on the altar to open the way. Kind of a bad song, Cass. The Tempestuous Bay. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, okay. From the song could be this very bay. What sort of wings are made of cloth and wood? Ah, mm. uh, my glider, duh. How do you think I fly around? It's a juicy riddle, but one I may never puzzle out. Take care, and may the light illuminate your path. Cass, you're a rookie. This is how we do it. In Hylia. Okay, okay. Actually, I just want this ore over here. Ooh, luminous. Did I miss any ore? No? Bang. A lot of crabs in here. Ooh, look at all those fishies. Dang, I only got a couple. 
Alright, so basically, um... Wait a minute. Alright, let's climb up here. There's something that we gotta do to, like, blow up a rock. I remember that. Um... Alright, we gotta... We gotta... We gotta get this Korok here, though. Alright, that was close. That was close. I only got, like, five, six, seven more shots. That's it. I, I, I got this. I got this. Third time's the charm, guys. Third time. There it is. Oh, too close. All right. All right. I got this. I got this. What? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to run out of rocks. I need this Korok. Got it. That was close. How many do I got? Ten? Ooh, thirteen. Alright, so, yeah, like that, that thing right there we can bomb. For sure. And now the wind blows through. See, it does something. It, it blows through. We can fly all around. Alright, another one right here we gotta blow up. Don't know why we're blowing up this one, but, uh, all right. There's like a way, oh, all right. Yeah, I kind of do wish I had the Zora armor, especially if it's raining all the time. We're going to figure this out, guys, because this is for a shrine. We don't mess around when, the, when, it's, when we're talking shrines, you know what I mean? Come on, Link, come on, Link. Come on, baby. There it is. I really don't need the sneaky armor, I guess. Um, let's put on... Actually, does it make me fast? Yeah, it's at night, so let's just keep using it. Ooh, I'm super fast. All right, there's... There's got to be some more areas that I can blow up, so... Hmm. I think maybe we have to, like, sail right on through. Alright, what's over here? I'm interested. What's over here? Give me those Octo Balloons. Those are actually really fun to mess around with. Cannot hide from me. Ooh, there's a chest. Oh, dang. Did you guys see that? Come on, man. Come, come, come on. Come on. What do we got? Ooh, a ruby. All right, I'll take it. Actually, let's go back, go back, go back, go back. I, I, I want to try sailing through. I think I think that's what we have to do. If that's not it, I'm going to look at the riddle again and, and see if we can figure it out. Alright, we actually have to go all the way over here. Actually, let's just look at the riddle right now. So, he breaks the rock, served a bind, above the Tempter's Bay, on wings of us. He lands on the altar to open the way. Okay, okay, okay. I actually have to, like, fly all the way around and then finish on the altar. There's one more rock that I have to break, and I know where it is. It's, like, in the middle. All right. Okay, okay. All right, that was terrible. That was terrible. All right, let's try this one. We got to find, like, the starting point. This is probably it. Get full stamina. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. We're going, we're going, we're going. Come on, Link, come on, come, get up, up.
Alright, I know for a fact there's something in here we gotta break. Yeah, it's right there. Alright. That, that was pretty much it. Alright, I, I don't know like what we did there, but we did something. It was, it was something good. Up oh, there's another one. Whoa, look at Nadra. Nadra's coming right at us, guys. Okay. Something is... is. Okay, it, want, it wants me to land right there. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. We got it, we got it, we got it. Dang, look at that. If dragons killed you, that would be terrifying. Luckily, they're our friend. Kind of. Okay, we're actually going to wait for Nadra because she is coming straight at us. And I could use some dragon scales. Oh my gosh, this is kind of terrifying. No, no, no. Okay. Yo, that is so cool. Don't mind me, Nadra. I'm fixing your uh windy area yeah yeah i'm just fixing it i'm not doing anything bad please don't eat me how many feet do you got six Oh, the stupid wind is pushing me. Oh my gosh. I, I can't get the, the scale. Oh well. Nadra, you're beautiful. Okay. Let's go. Come on, baby. We can make it. We can make it. We can make it. Alright, that was it. All we had to do was break some rocks and then just fly through that, I guess. Hmm. Do you think it's a blessing or an uh, actual shrine that we're going to have to use our brain? I hope it's a challenge. Give me a challenge, Nintendo. Come on. Because this whole win thing was not that hard. Let's, 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 let's hope it's a challenge. The Shyokta Shrine. See guys, exploring always pays off. You can't tell me one time where we were exploring and it didn't pay off in some way. All right, let's see what we got. Mm. I don't know if I said this before, but I do hope you guys are having a great day wherever you guys might be. It's actually kind of a dreary day out where I'm at. It's kind of just like rainy and cloudy. Okay, it's a blessing. Perfect day to stay inside and play video games. Oh my goodness. Do I have four of those now or I actually broke one? I would have had four. Okay, actually I broke a couple. I only got I only got one. It's a really good weapon. I like one-handed weapons better. I guess, uh, I guess you're going away. It's good, good, good claymore, but I can get those anytime by warping to that one tower. This one does less damage, but it does fire, which is really useful. So, because it makes them dance, you know what I mean? And it also burns them for damage. You don't know how much damage they're burning for, but it probably is overall more damage than the royal claymore. Hey, we can get another. Oh no, no, I need one more spirit orb. One more spirit orb, and then what do you guys think? Should I start doing uh, more hearts or more stamina? I kind of want to just do more stamina because uh, it's more useful when you're climbing and running. And hearts are, uh, you know, once you have 13, you got the master sword. I don't think you really need any more because even in master mode, because like 
you can just eat uh, hearty food that boosts your hearts, and hearty food is really easy to find, especially if you're exploring like we do. And also, just like, just like when you're uh, using amiibos and stuff too, I'm pretty sure you get like hearty food every now and then. All right, I'm back. I'm back, Cookie. Let's uh, let's get some more back in here real quick. And uh, oh, hi guys. Gosh, I, I just don't want to use any arrows. Maybe that guy will... Oh my goodness, Wolfwing, you hit hard. Drop some arrows for me, please. No? Nothing? I don't want your junky bow. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep heading. Actually, I don't even know where we can head. Oh, anyways, let's just keep keep following the coast, see where we go. I do kind of want to go to Zoro's Domain, though, guys. Let's just go to Zoro's Domain. We'll, uh, we'll continue exploring later. Have no fear, Cookie. I know you will find your way to the stables. Wolf Link will be your protector. Not that you need it. I mean, you're, you are in full ancient armor. Literally priceless artifacts. So, in Zora's Domain, I want to buy arrows, of course, and then I want to get the Zora armor, which all we have to do is talk to some people, I think. It's like the only armor set where you gotta actually kind of initiate through some of the main quests to get. The other ones you can just, like, buy. Alright. I do love running fast as, uh, as Link. Also, uh, let's just sleep in, in here because we can uh, get the extra stamina wheel, I think. For 80 rupees, we get a, we get a extra... Uh, let's, let's do night because I can keep running past. And honestly, since it's raining all the time here... Seeing as it's raining all the time, I mean, it's basically dark out anyways. Almost done drinking my tea. I think we get an extra stamina wheel here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and three hearts. Definitely worth. Definitely worth. Um, can I even like cook any more meals? I can only cook a couple. Ah, I, I, I wanted to just eat these because they're taking up slots. Um, so these hearty things are good because they boost my hearts. Let's just do uh, two of those. We're not going to do a cooking with Lucian too long here. I just want to make a couple meals because we don't even have enough uh, room to do cooking. Uh, and then Staminoka Bass, always. One Staminoka Bass is a full Stamina Wheel. Now that I have two Stamina Wheels, I could do two, but... Alright. So let's go buy some arrows real quick, and then we'll go talk to uh, King Dorfin. Oh, now you're conveniently in stock. I see. So this will be 15 arrows. That'll help. And then uh, you don't have any regular arrows, do you? All right. Yep. Let's go talk to uh, the king. Before we do that, let's change how we look so you know we're presentable. We ought to wear our champion's tunic so he recognizes us as the the hero, right? Um, how about how about the the circlet that looks kind of royal and um, You know the the pants aren't bad the the, the stealth pants actually do kind of go with it um, yeah, I might I might keep the stealth pants mm, Or oh actually the rubber armor looks really cool. You never see anybody using the rubber armor, but Now let's do the champions tunic That Actually doesn't look terrible Climber boots look kind of more like Link's style, though, if I'm being honest. But I, I I do like that look. I also like this look. So many so many good fashion looks in this game. We're gonna we're gonna rock this look to talk to the king. And uh, even though ooh, we're at 25 minutes, almost almost 26. All right, we we should have enough time to get this. Gonna be a lot of cutscenes and talking, guys. Okay. But only, only for this time.
Do you guys remember Sidon was waiting for us for literally like 30 episodes or more to talk to the king? <laughs> I literally explored the whole map and did like so much before I talked to the king. Alright. Because we got here a long time ago. King Dorifon. Ah, you must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Dorifon, ruler of the Zora. Hmm, that object upon your waist, is that not a Sheikah slate? Hmm, now that I've gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. If you guys can't tell, I'm talking in whale speak. <laughs> You are the Hylian Champion, Link! Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion? You can't mean THE Link, THAT Champion! So that's where I've heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. <laughs> I cannot believe it. The Hylian Champion, Link! has appeared before us. We have met numerous times. I'll have you know. <laughs> ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. <laughs> I had heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary. I've been sleeping. Come again? Sleeping, you say? Hmm, is that why you do not seem to remember me? But surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mifa, yes? You do, do you not? Mifa who? I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you do not remember her. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mifa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. Mm. I dearly hope so. Huh? Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Mm. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> that is a good one. Link. I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Mm. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zoro's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Baruta. I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? <laughs> what? <laughs> King Dorfan, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help, why the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, 
It is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain, I have no doubt in my mind. Mm, indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend, except for me. <coughs> Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten all right of my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that is not the least of it. It is their fault that Lady Mepho was lost to us. Link, divine beast Varuta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water and the air are as one. So you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Mm. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear immense danger will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. Their Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Mm. The divine beast is crying out once again. Does it create that endless supply of water? Just curious. <laughs> the divine beast, Varuta. Your princess, Zelda often studied the divine beast, that is, in the time before the great calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Yeah. Sagan, who is quite shock resistant for Azora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. <laughs> That is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. Link, I am certain you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. Hmm. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg of you, help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction! Uh, yes, for a price! What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within. So, then, Princess Zelda is still alive. Yes, in Hyrule Castle. Mm. 
I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of 100 years ago cannot be altered, it is true. But if we regain control of the Divine Beasts, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. I did not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. <laughs> Wondrous, naturally, I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link, let us appease Ruta together. Let's do it. Thank you, Link, truly. We are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Boom! That's what I wanted, guys. The Zora armor makes you swim fast. And you can swim up waterfalls. Yeah. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like a Zora. Please take good care of it. King Dwarfin, surely you do not really intend to give this outsider the Zora armor. Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made that one there with her own hands. It is far too important to address to a shady Harleyan. Yeah, so shady. He's the hero. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? Mm. This is just too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Mm. Hmm, that Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter, Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, guys, my throat getting kind of sore from this voice. So basically, he wants us to go get shock arrows, and then we're going to fight the Divine Beast. However, we're not going to fight the Divine Beast. I just wanted to get the armor. We're going to do this Divine Beast last. And uh, seeing as we're already over time, we're going to end it here. Uh, we created a little bit of drama in the Zoro's Domain, but that'll all get sorted out in the next episode and then uh, we also need to actually find the Zora helmet and the Zora leggings I remember where the helmet is the leggings I don't really remember so if you guys remember where the leggings are feel free to let me know um, otherwise I might just have to look it up but yeah thank you guys for watching please drop a like if you enjoyed oh snap actually this is becoming a long episode, but I really want to go talk to that guy. How do I get up there? Like, for real, how do you get up there? Ah, oh well. Now that I know he's there, we can get up there another time. Alright guys, thank you for watching. This is Lucian Sword. This outfit looks kind of ridiculous, so I'm going to change it. Uh, let's, let's put on this back again. Take it easy, guys.